How's it going everybody? Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. Now before we get started, um, I want to point out that uh, it's been a little while since I've uploaded my uh, my last video here and uh, since then I've gotten over 100 subscribers so I want to thank each and every one of you guys for actually subscribing to my channel. It's uh, much appreciated and uh, let's go ahead and, and get started in this video. So this tutorial I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up your own uh, Craftopia server. So in order to get started, we are going to go to Steam CMD here, click this first link. We're going to click Windows, click this little one icon that's right here. It's going to download that, we'll open it up, we can close that. We're going to extract the files, hit OK. Now we have the Steam CMD folder here. I'm going to Control X on that, go to my C, uh, C drive, create a new folder called Servers. In there, I'm going to uh, control V to paste Steam CMD in there. Then I'm also going to make a new folder. We'll call it Craft uh, Topia. And let's go ahead and initialize Steam CMD real quick. Perfect. Now that Steam CMD is initialized, we're going to go ahead and go back to this folder here. I'm going to copy this with control C. And we're going to do force install dir directory then we're going to paste that in we're going to hit enter then we're going to do login anonymous and then we're going to need the app id we are going to do app update and the app id is 1670340 to validate then we're going to hit enter then we're going to let that download uh, this will vary depending on your internet connection so let's just wait and have it download. All right, now that that is done, we can go ahead and exit this. And now for here, we're going to need to create the startup script, which we'll do here in just a second. Uh, if you haven't already, go to view and do file, na oops. Do file name extensions, make sure that is shown so you can see all the extensions like the .exe here. We're gonna create a new folder, or sorry, new file. We'll call it uh, start.bat. We're gonna hit yes on this. Right click and I'm gonna edit with my preferred uh, notepad editor here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do start craftopia.exe.batch mode dash show logs. I'm gonna go ahead and allow access on this real quick. Get that out of the way here. All right, once you got that, we're going to control S to save it. We'll close this out. And then uh, we're going to run it for the first time so we can get the server settings and we can modify the settings for the server. So let's go ahead and run this real quick. We'll allow access on this. It's just going through the firewall. All right, what you see here? This is our server settings. So let's go ahead and close this. We can do control C on it to close it, or you can hit the X there up here, and that will also close it. We got server settings here. So here is all the um, description of each setting here. So your name would be the server name. So let's just do Lucian Dev for my case. You got the game mode. You got the port number here. Players. Now for multiplayer, Craftopia, um, they do only recommend seven since this is a, uh, a very... Um, new thing for them so the multiplayer isn't very uh stable in their words so seven is the amount of players that they recommend for the server now if you want the server to be password protected you're going to change this zero to a one and then you're going to put your password here in my case i'm not going to have the server password protected we're going to save that and then we can restart the server but before we do that uh we need to open up some ports to the firewall if you want this to be public to the internet uh, to our other people who are outside of your network to connect to the game. So you need to open up the ports to the firewall and then you would need to open up the ports through your router. Uh, in this video, I will not be showing you the ports to the router just because everyone's router is different. So I'll, I'll only be showing you how to open up the ports through your firewall. We're gonna go to firewall. We'll go to the advanced security settings here. We're gonna go to inbound rules. Now, Craftopia is already here because we've allowed it. Well, in the off chance that 
it didn't create the ports for you. We're gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna run you to the ports here. So we do port TCP. We're gonna do six five eight seven. That is the the main game port there. So we're gonna need that. And we'll go to next next next. We'll do six five eight seven TCP. You can name these whatever you want. By the way, this is just what I'm gonna name it just for uh the sake of this video here we're gonna do the next port this which is also tcp this is 27015 through 27030 i'm gonna copy that next we're gonna do that tcp that's gonna be the name of the port then we're gonna do another new rule port next this is also gonna be a tcp port 27036 to 27037 I'm gonna copy that for the name. Leave all that as default. As you see here, allow connection. I'm kind of going fast, but every, everything's gonna be the default settings. So, and that's also TCP. Then we're gonna to do some UDP ports. So port, and we're gonna switch this up from TCP to UDP here. Then we're gonna do 4380. Again, I'm gonna copy that so I can put that as a name. I'm gonna change that from TCP. UDP and then new rule again port UDP then we're going to do 27,000 through 27,031 I'm going to copy that for the name I lost my mouse allow connections that and we're going to do UDP finish and then one more we're going to do port next UDP, and this is going to be 27036. Next, allow connections, or still everything as default UDP. All right, these are all the ports that you are going to need uh, for the Craftopia server. That's it. So you can close this, and then you can restart your server. All right, and, uh, as you can see here, the experimental and wild seven player by default. Uh, you can increase it, but that's just what they recommend. Uh, once you see all this information, your server is online and uh, you can go ahead and connect to it. And that's it guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.